brothers, brothers and, and sisters, sisters. Aloha. Aloha. Hi, Chaka everyone. Sign. <laughs> I'm John Dai. I'm Jenny Dai. And we are where, Jenny? We are at the Laie Temple Visitor Center. Which is right behind us here. Mm -hmm. And that's the Laie Temple in Laie, Hawaii, on the island of Oahu. Oahu. And boy, I love these grounds. These are some of the best most yeah. beautiful temple grounds that I have ever seen. Yeah. Um, it sits on a large parcel of land, which uh, is awesome. And it's one of the earliest temples. It's the, the first temple built outside of North America. And uh, it was, uh, construction began in 1916 and was completed in 1919, so almost a hundred years uh, from its completion. Next year will be the centennial, yeah, right? Yeah. Of this temple, mm -hmm. which is behind us. Just absolutely beautiful. So we'd love to know where you're watching from. We have 10 viewers live right now, 12. Where are you watching from? And your favorite temple, right? Yeah. We're at one of our most favorite temples today, but uh, what is your favorite temple, Jenny? My favorite temple is the Provo City Center Temple. I would say the same because we were married there. Mm -hmm. We were married there. So, Jenny, do you have a story you want I to share sure a little do. bit? Is that okay? Yeah. Yeah. Let me grab that with the right hand there. Um, we're going to give you a little tour of the grounds, the temple grounds, a little bit later because one of the the best things I was talking to Jenny um, as she's getting ready with her her little notes, but we. Uh, you know, there are so many temples in the church now, it would be hard to personally visit all of those temples. And so as we look at um, what we have today, we're in Laie, we're fortunate enough to be here. We'd love to share it virtually with all of you. So we'll take you a little on a little tour of the temple grounds. And next time somebody's in Bern, Switzerland, or in another very unique location, give us a, a virtual tour. It'd be fun to, to see what the temples look like all around the world. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you, John Dye. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, so I just wanted to take a minute. The other night, I spent some time here at the visitor center, and I was talking with a couple of sister missionaries. Um, sorry, a little bug there. Um, one of the missionaries, one of the sisters, was from South Carolina, and the other was from um, Taiwan, um, from the Taichung area. And I asked them, what do you think about serving here? What's it, what's it like? You know, this is Hawaii, this is paradise. Are, were you excited about that? And um, both of them actually said, eh. I mean, they, <laughs> they weren't, it's not like they were disappointed, but the sister from, from South Carolina on the East Coast of the United States said, I was kind of hoping for somewhere where it got cold. And then the sister from Taiwan said the same thing. She said, I've, I've never seen snow before. I would have loved to have gone somewhere where there's snow. And that actually got me thinking about a couple of different things. Um, first, it got me thinking about my own daughter who is, um, oh my gosh, I got just kind of emotional. Is leaving for her mission in just over a month. Um, she'll go to the, to the missionary training center in Provo at the end of June. And she will be serving her mission. When she was little, I reminded her, um, oh, hi, Jan, Jan Blake, hi. Um, uh, when, she, when my daughter was little, she asked, you know, mommy, can I go on a mission when I'm big? And I said, you bet you can, sweetie. And she said, well, where can I go? And I said, that's a good question. If you could go anywhere, where would you choose? And she said, I don't care, just someplace warm. And it turns out she's going to be serving in Edmonton, Canada, which is so cold. And I thought about her, and I thought about these sister missionaries that I met here at this visitor center. And then it also got me thinking about other temples in the world. Um, last I checked, there were 159 um, LDS temples in operation throughout the world, including nine, which are are, which have been previously dedicated but are closed for renovation. There are, I think, 11, is it 11? Yeah, 11 under construction, and then 19 which have been announced, um, which have not, where, where construction has not yet begun. 
Just yesterday, we took some time here on the island and we visited a place uh, further down the, the highway called Valley of the Temples. And um, at the Valley of the Temples, where um, um, there is a sacred bell there, which is si over six feet high, the bottom diameter of the bell is 57 inches and it weighs over seven tons and it is suspended in the air and they invite visitors to go ahead and ring the bell. And it's modeled after a bell, um, I think three bells, uh, well known in Japan in Buddhist temples. And it said that the unique tones of the, I'm, I don't know how to speak Japanese, uh, the bonsho maybe, which means sacred bell, clears the mind of, hat, uh, of <laughs> clears the mind of, clears the mind of negativity imparts deep peace and brings happiness, blessings, and a long life. Through its resonating sound, the bell reminds us that everything is transitory or not permanent. And I've been thinking about that and how, you know, I'm sure that these sisters who are serving over here at this visitor center here in Laie, they wanted, they wanted to serve in a place where, <laughs> where they could see snow and feel cold, which was unlike where they they grew up. Um, and my daughter said when she was little that she wanted to, to serve somewhere as long as it's warm and she's gonna be serving in one of the coldest missions anywhere in the world. Um, and, and just how things change because I'm sure that when these sisters here are done serving and when my daughter completes her mission, they will all know of the reasons why they were called to serve where they were and see the blessings of being where they were and and come to love those places in ways that they probably didn't realize they could or even did before um, and just how that that um, applies to our own lives too um, for many different reasons had you talked to me a year ago or not a year ago but but ten years ago or five years ago you would have asked me if I would have been vacationing in Hawaii with my husband, I would have said absolutely no. <laughs> um, and, and yet here we are. Things, things are transitory. And I think it's important that we allow for that, that we allow for, for things to change in our lives and that we allow for things to be okay with things that change in our lives. And with that, I would also say that the one thing I do know is that God's love is permanent. God's love is unchanging. God loves me, God loves you. He loves you for who you are. Our value is inherent. It isn't something that we earn, it's something that we're born with. And even when we don't feel it, it's there and it's permanent and it will never go away. So those are just some thoughts that I've had of when I think about missionaries and temples and all sorts of stuff that we've been doing here. Awesome, thanks Jenny. Thank you, thank you. So we're gonna take the next few minutes and take you guys on a tour of the temple grounds. Just because, again, you may have been here. If you have, please comment. If you haven't, please give us your your favorite temple that you go to or the one you most often frequent. So you can uh, share with others where you live and where you go to the temple. So again, right behind us is the visitor center see that and here we have the temple those iconic steps and those fountains that lead up to the temple just absolutely beautiful and I'm gonna stop here and flip the camera sorry about my sunglasses I'm gonna flip the camera oops wrong right side here. yep so that you can see at the end of this road uh, you can't really see it I don't think but at, there are a couple of roundabouts there, and then at the end of that road is the Pacific Ocean, like the, the kind of the North Shore. Um, and just to the west of us on this front row, or front road right there, is, um, is BYU Hawaii. So, so yes, the Pacific Ocean is where that road ends. Yeah. But yeah, behind us again the temple and those iconic steps going up, leading up there. Beautiful fountains right behind us, and and I learned that the temple, this temple's design, is designed after uh, King Solomon's temple in the Bible. Yeah. So the basic uh, architecture is is based on King Solomon's temple architecture. We're taking you now 
to a spot opposite the um, visitor center. But both of us, last night as we were here, we, we noticed a sculpture. I'm hoping you guys can hear us because of the fountains, but there was a sculpture here that neither of us had seen before. Yeah. We, uh, Didn't even know it existed, which, because often on temple grounds, you'll see artwork um, that is a print or a replica uh, of artwork that exists elsewhere, but neither of us knew about this statue over here. So, again, I'm gonna flip this. And this is Lehi Blessing Joseph. Lehi Blessing Joseph, so. It says, this sculptural piece was completed prior to 1919 for the dedication of the Hawaii Temple. This work, um, Oh, sorry. It's going to be loud. Okay. This work, uh, and the one called Maternity at the top of the pools, which we'll walk up to as well, were done by, a, by Avard Fairbanks to add charm and spiritual significance to the landscape. The forensics on the temple are further examples of his artistic endeavor. So, really rather beautiful. Has anyone else seen this or heard of this? Um, Next, on the wall, and then back here you can see. Just uh, some reliefs that are behind this again on the outer wall of the temple grounds, the visitor center area. Just beautifully done. Old tes testament dispensation, right here, represented. Here's the new testament dispensation. Christ. Palm Springs, California, checking in. Book of Mormon dispensation. Right. And then the latter day dispensation, the modern. So, four dispensations represented on the outer walls of the temple. And so, we'll make our way back again straight in front of us. That is the visitor center. And I'll tell you what, this may sound trivial, but the restrooms here are the best place to go. <laughs> it's not on... easy to find clean public restrooms in a lot of areas here on the island, so with all the touring groups that they have come through, it's smart of them to have these facilities. Yes, these are the cleanest and best bathrooms on the island of Oahu, <laughs> that's for sure. We, we got some pictures last night at the sunset up here of the palm trees lining the fountains that lead to the temple. Beautiful, beautiful uh, evening last night. And again, just the, the flora, the fauna, just beautiful. The plants here. We just need to do a, a close-up, right, of some of these. It's bigger than my head flowers. You know... Hawaii has such a rich history in general, and then the kind of intertwining with it, or as it parallels with the history of the church here, is really fascinating to learn about, I think. Um, and we'll make our way up to the temple. Mm -hmm. Hi! Hello. Again, let's, I'll, I'll go in the middle here so we can... And many of you are probably very familiar. I don't know why I'm so enthralled by these fountains that come down directly from the temple, but it's just so beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. All the way down to the visitor center. Again, Jenny, we are coming live from Laie yeah. Temple on Oahu. Yeah, let's read some of the comments of where people have been checking in from. Okay. Um, can we do that? Yes. Get the whole right. Yep. Here we are. Let's see. I'll pull it up on mine too to see if I can... Actually, this is better. Why don't... Oh, okay. In the UK, my favorite temple is San Diego. Never been, but looks amazing. Yes, it does. It looks like a castle, doesn't it? Either you hold this. Okay. Um, other favorite is London. Is the temple near the volcano? That's a great question. No, the, the volcano that is erupting, has been erupting, is on a different island. That's the big island. 
of Hawaii. And um, I believe that's where the Kona Temple is. But that's not, um, that's not this island. But thank you for asking. What's I recall says hello from the villages, Florida. We attend the Orlando, Florida Temple. It's beautiful. That's great. Temple watching from Italy. Morning watching from New Zealand. Uh, we have uh, Jan Miller Blake yes, saying so I grew beautiful. Up. We attend yes. the Raleigh North Carolina Temple, which is currently under renovation. Our son Tim lived on that island for several years. Oh, you see so me. Patricia Summer says we'll be there next week. Yay! Wonderful. Enjoy your time here. And I like the the um, the visitor center, the sister missionaries who are serving in there. They have um, quite a lot of uh, videos to show, um, kind of you know typical of what you would find in any visitor center, but. But also, um, but also about the history of Laie. Yeah. I mean, look well. at how high these hedges are. It's so beautiful here. The grounds is always are immaculate. Yes. Look at those trees looking out to the ocean. Somebody from watching from Iowa. Iowa. Hi, Lacey. Lacey Asher. Hi, guys. Hello. Now, is it this way? I'm not the, even sure. There's you one know, more. There's another statue. Statue that, that we would like to. And I don't even know where one. it is. So. I believe it's around this side or is the it? back of the Can we go around the back? Secret passageway. So we're now on the side of the temple. And these trees are called what, Denny? Are these banyan trees? Banyan trees. Check out these roots. Very nice. You guys are a fan of Lost. That was filmed here on the North Shore of Hawaii, not yeah. far from where we're at. A lot of films on this, uh, this island. Wow, this is stunning. Here's back the back side. Why didn't we help the lady with the pram? I'm guessing a pram is a word for a stroller. Um, it was empty and it looked like she was like legit. <laughs> I, her son was walking. Yeah, yeah, her son was walking with her and kind of helping her like a, like a, this is a big boy thing to do. So that's why. Karina says, beautiful, I went to the San Diego Temple Dedication, I miss home, I'm now in Ohio. Oh, nice. Yeah, um, San Diego has a really unique architecture as well. Back door to the temple. Nice. There's Here's the back of the temple. <laughs> you could have offered. It's called ministry. Thanks, Jeff. Noted. New Zealand Temple will be on renovation soon, probably next year. So, with the New Zealand Temple being renovated, then where's the where's the next? Who's still to attend? I wonder. Oh. Layers. Interesting. I don't know what it is. Oh, the tree shed. The tree shed? Yeah, so the layers oh. come off. 
until overnight probably that tree lost a layer. Huh. Interesting. Okay, and so we'll walk down this way and back around to the front of the temple again. These like purple leaves and the red flowers up there is just stunning. Just gorgeous. And there's some pink ones. Pink flowers. Okay. So this is the Wait, way we probably go. Sure. Over here is the Temple's parking lot. Show them there. We have Luce joining us. She says, all LDS temples are amazing, but my favorite is Manila Temple, where my return missionary's uh, daughter and son-in-law got married. Oh, cool. Thanks, Luce. There it is. Not an exit. Okay, great. Okay. Well, we should have gone on the other one. <laughs> Thanks for bearing with us, everyone. There we go. Yeah, I've not been to the, the Kona Temple, uh, the other temple in Hawaii. Jesse Nelson says, I love temples. I love the Payson Temple. The Payson Temple is cool. Uh, I really like the like the etchings in the in the stained glass in Payson. I believe they include like apples because of the apple trees nearby or something. I, I just like the the local flavor that you know the thought that goes into the design of all the temples to to reflect local culture and surroundings. Go straight ahead of us to visit the center yep. again. And on the left are two chapels. Yeah. Together. So parking lot for the temple. And the two chapels. Two chapels. Yep. And then back over this way, the door is up to the temple. So we'll come up to the front and then show you the view looking down from the front doors of the temple. And that's where we'll stop. Yep. Thanks everybody for joining us today and thanks for letting us know where you're watching from your favorite temples, if you have any missionaries out serving, where they might be. Deborah, there is such a spirit just watching you walk the grounds. How blessed we are. Thanks, Deborah. Thanks for joining us today. And to the right is where you enter the temple. It's brilliant. I mean, Come out and check out this view looking down. And there's where you can see way. the ocean. Claudia, this temple is the Laie Temple on Oahu, Laie, Hawaii. And then all the way down at the end of the row, I don't know if you can see, but uh, the waves of the Pacific Ocean near Pounders Beach or Laie Beach. Pounders, I guess, is down the yeah, that's, that's down the coast a little bit, but. Um, so thanks everyone for joining us. Signing off. All right, take care.